Hey gear seekers, I'm Nick. You guys have been asking to see another build in the mesh licious, so I decided to do an air-cooled build today. This is actually something that I wanted to do and something that I wanted to test since we actually got our hands on this case when it first arrived here. So what I did in this video obviously is I built an air-cooled sunny side up system, but I uh, played around with the fan configurations quite a bit to see what the best fan configuration was for this case and to see if we could make a regular size fan fit on this Scythe Big Show You Can Cooler. So let's do all of that, but roll the intro first. As usual with these builds and these type of videos on the channel, we'll build with parts that we've got on hand. And as I mentioned already, I used a cooler that we used when we did an NR200 build ages and ages ago. And I wasn't even sure that this would fit properly. Obviously, like when you see the measurements on a website for a product, sometimes it can be different to what you encounter when you build with it. But just as a bit of a spoiler, I had no problems getting this cooler to fit with the stock fan and a regular with Noctua fan as well. But yeah, we're gonna talk about all that when we do the thermals, but first of all, we need to build the system. So let's do that. Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed seeing me put together this build in the Sunny Side Up Mesh Licious. Now let's talk about what we found out with the thermals with all of the different configurations in this case. So let's first take a look at the thermals of this system in this exact configuration here. And what you're seeing is that with the panels on and off, it's uh, it's quite a warm system with this cooler. We didn't encounter any thermal throttling whatsoever, but it does get very, very close to 100 degrees with this cooler. So yeah, no matter what we did with the fans at the front being flipped or rotated or whatnot, always getting quite close to 100 degrees with the panels on and off. Also I wanted to mention with the GPU as well, we didn't see much thermal difference between the glass being on and off because of the massive fans on the front that I installed here. I actually forgot to mention this, so I'm putting this in as a bit of a voiceover, but I wanted to show you guys a bit of a comparison between the original reviewed mesh lishes with a 280mm AIO and the NR200 with the exact same CPU cooler. So yeah, this is a little bit of a comparison. Yeah, I know the hardware is different here, but I thought this would just give it a little bit more context to see how it compares thermally with slightly different hardware, 
but with the same case and everyone's favorite rival, the NR200. But here's where this changes a little bit. And what you're seeing on screen right now is I tested with this cooler, with this stock fan flipped over. So to exhaust it out the side panel, I also tested with the front fans flipped and we didn't see much of a difference with that. So we're not really gonna talk about that. Again, just to reiterate, flipping the stock fan over to exhaust uh, made the performance slightly worse, not better. And we saw that both with the panels on and off. When we use a Noctua fan, the temperatures plummeted, absolutely plummeted. In some cases, about 20 degrees. And what we did find as well is that if you are game enough with this cooler and this type of layout, which is it being more biased towards cooler height with the layout because you can change the internal layout, stuff we've covered in the review. I'll put that down below in the description or the top right hand corner and all that stuff. But what we did find is that again, a regular size knock to a fan fit. But here's where this differs again. I decided to do the same testing that I did with the stock fan, but with the knock to a fan. So in all configurations with panels on and off and flipped both on and off too. And as we saw with the stock fan, with the knock to a fan in the intake position, it does give us better thermal. So yeah, that was just something that I was curious about. I wanted to know whether or not like it would make a massive difference setting it up in either exhaust or intake with this cooler in particular. Now this will give you a good guide if you're using anything like a knock to a cooler or any other type of downdraft cooler in this case. So yeah, I did a little bit of research for you guys. I was, I was more curious than anything. And we have had comments with people asking about us doing a video like this, so I was like, you know what? It's time, we're doing it. Anyways, all of the thermal stuff aside, we quickly run through all of the parts that I went with with this system. The CPU is the Intel Core i5 11600K. We put the 11600K on the Gigabyte Z590i Aorus Ultra. To cool the CPU, we used the Scythe Big Shiryuken 3. We've actually used this cooler before on other builds. We did an NR200 build with it a little while ago. We saw similar results as well. The RAM is 16 gigs of Thermaltake Z1 at 3200 megahertz from memory. The power supply is a new one. It's a Leon Lee 750 watt SP750 SFX power supply. The GPU is the NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti Founders Edition. For the front fans, I went with just some random Fantex ones from some Fantex case I had laying around. Uh, there were two 140 mil fans, I put them in. And surprisingly, they're very, very quiet. The only fan noise you can hear right now is the CPU fan. I've got it completely maxed out from doing all the testing and I didn't bother to change it to silent mode before filming, but yeah. I thought this one was pretty interesting. I basically did this one for science because I was more curious than anything about this case. Now, after using this case for a little while, there's a couple things I wanna talk about that I really just dislike about this case, right? So I've done, I think, three or four videos maybe with this already, but, the fact that you need to use a right angled HDMI cable or the one that comes with it or a right angled DisplayPort cable, it's a little bit annoying. But I mean, if you're building your setup around this case, not a big deal. But for people like me who like to test hardware all the time, we have to come up with solutions to how to plug stuff into our testing environment. And yeah, this one is a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's very, very frustrating. But I think that's just about gonna do it for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I uh, addressed some questions you may have had on our other Meshlicious content. And yeah, air cooling in this, turns out that it's not too bad. And with this cooler, which was a nice surprise, you can put a proper 120 mil fan, not the half height 12.5 mil fans, but a proper 25 mil fan. So it is tight, like it's, it's quite tight and it does sit up against the panel but I think it's worth it considering <laughs> there's about a 20 degree temperature difference and that's huge. And not only it being huge for the sake of, you know, 
cooler CPU temperatures, it also probably won't heat up your room as much, which is also nice. Anyways, guys, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music, it's available over on our Patreon. You want to get early access to videos like this one, head on over to Floatplane. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek, and as usual, it's time to engage cinematic mode. I'm out of here. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya soon, I guess.